Okay, I have already made a video about what effective microorganisms is. If you haven't seen that, I will put a link right here. You may want to start there. If you are enrolled in my online course, I will put a link for you down below. You should really go watch this in the course because there's so much more in the course about EEM. So uses for effective microorganisms. First of all, we already know that microorganisms do a lot in our world, in the soil, with plants, in water, in our bodies, just a lot. And in the garden, they do a lot to improve the soil. They do a lot to feed plants. They do a lot to protect plants from diseases. And when I think of EM, I really think of this as just a culture of microorganisms that are especially good at doing those things for us. And a couple of reasons I really like to use them are, first of all, the mother culture is made in a lab under very controlled conditions. So you know you're getting a consistently good product. If you were buying, say, compost tea, it's not as controlled. Compost tea can have its benefits, but EM, you just know you're getting something really good. The other nice thing about EM, I've mentioned before that these are fermenting microbes. They can live without oxygen, and so they can be stored for years, kind of like a wine can be stored, because wine is made from fermenting microorganisms. So you can keep it around for years, whereas compost tea, you want to use it within a day of it being brewed. So again, I love compost tea too, but those are a couple of additional benefits of EM. So let's look at some specific uses of EM in the garden. One is compost. EM really improves the composting process. Compost can be done quite a bit faster, as much as 30% faster. But in addition to that, you just make a better compost. The way if the microbes ferment the organic matter, less of the nutrients are lost to the air, volatilization, you're losing less sulfur and nitrogen to the air. And on top of that, if you have any pockets of your compost that are anaerobic, they get too wet, not enough air in there, EM will really help to make that into good compost rather than often what happens if your compost is too anaerobic is you get bad microorganisms in there. Now, of course, the, the root solution to that is to make a, a, a really good compost pile, but EM is really nice insurance to make sure that if there are anaerobic pockets that you will still have really nice compost. Per cubic yard of materials, you apply EM at three liters per cubic yard. I've seen people use as many as five liters. I'm sure you could still get some benefits from using less than the three liters, but three liters is the most common suggestion. You can just pour it on, spray it on. You can dilute it with water if that helps, but you don't have to. Really useful to get EM into that process. And also, whenever I'm out spraying the rest of the garden, I just spray my compost pile too, just to re-inoculate it a little bit. The second thing related to compost is bokashi. Bokashi is a fermented carbon-rich material. In Japan, that would often be rice bran, but you can also use wheat bran, sawdust, anything that's like a fine carbonaceous material. You ferment it with EM. I'm going to make a whole separate video about this. And if you're in my online course, I'll make a whole separate series of videos showing you how to do this. And then this bran can really help to ferment and compost your food scraps, control odors. It has a number of really nice uses. So more on that later. Then comes the garden, your soil, and your plants. EM microbes do a lot to improve your soil, but they're especially noted for helping to really break down that organic matter in a nice controlled way and to help control toxins in the soil. You can just spray it on your soil. You can spray it onto your mulch layer. I will say, I often talk about how EM is a, is a really cheap and easy thing to bring in when you don't have enough compost or other like organic matter. And yet, paradoxically, it's really nice to have some organic matter for the EM microbes because that's what they're great at. So whenever you're bringing in leaves or grass clippings or anything, spray them with your EM. They will start to break it down in a really nice way. While you're in the garden, of course, you're going to be spraying your plants, spraying the leaves, the trunk, 
trunks, the branches. EM will help feed your plants, especially if you mix it with other liquid organic fertilizers. Even though EM, it's quite nutritious on its own. It's not a fertilizer, but it makes antioxidants. It does some good stuff. If you mix it with fertilizer, like say a liquid seaweed, it will consume those nutrients and feed it to the plants. So I'm, I'm always combining it with things. The other thing it does is it really helps to protect plants from diseases. If you can, it's not a pesticide, but if you can just get that layer of microorganisms onto the leaf surface, it makes it really hard for a disease, fungus, or bacteria to colonize that leaf surface. So that's why regularly coming through and spraying the garden and the leaves is going to keep that protection going strong. As a result of this, there are a lot of studies showing bigger yields, bigger fruit size, fewer disease problems, higher bricks, fruit, a lot of benefits to bringing EM in onto plants. The last thing I'll mention is seeds. If you start things from seed, you can soak your seeds in a solution of EM and water. Now for this, you just want a very tiny amount of EM, just a one to 1,000 ratio with water. So a quarter teaspoon of EM in a cup of water. That's all you need because you don't want to ferment your seeds. But if you do this, it will improve their germination, increase the overall health. It's a really nice thing to do. And the last thing is that EM has really incredible uh, implications for human health. I will make a separate video about that uh, right here.